I'm going to record this. We are going to be taking a moment here to actually watch. Oh my god. Wait, the next ROM hack race is by Maddie? All right, I'm racing next week. We're going to be taking a moment here to watch the ROM hack race, that of which I participated on yesterday, uh, and go over it and just talk about how I felt going through it and the whole process of it, etc. I want to show you all uh, how the level went for me. Uh, just because we actually ended up losing the VOD, uh, from my bot account. I streamed on my bot account, and unfortunately the bot account did not properly, um, I'll come over here, I'm gonna move my camera here, did not properly record the VOD, and so we lost it. So I want to go over this again, to put this up on YouTube, uh, because I'm very proud of today. You'll notice, we kinda did very well. Uh, you'll notice, I kinda popped off yesterday with this race, and so I want to go ahead and watch through this. Uh, before we continue with the hack roulette stuff. So, uh, what's the word for this? This is, um, commentating over yesterday's RHR race. That's what we're doing. So, before we move on to, uh, playing, uh, Woji Row by Mark Alarm, we are going to be watching this because I want to sh share with you all, uh, how the race went and how I was, like, feeling throughout it. Just, like, share my emotions with, like, what all was going on. And then, uh, yeah, we will continue from there because I, this is one of my proudest moments as a Kaizo player. I have been wanting to beat, like, I've been wanting to win a ROM hack race since I first got started with Kaizo. And we finally did it. Corn not includes all Spectrum's hot dog bun and the NB stick. You are truly the most trans streamer, and now we get the victory lap for your race. Hell fucking yeah, kill you not. Let's fucking go. Good night, Vicente. You have a lovely night. How you doing, Allison, by the way? It's good to see you. So stick around. We will be doing more Kaizo content in a moment. But first, we have this wonderful race commentated by the one and only, Am the, 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 the two and only Amethyst Rocks and Cascade. I'm going to give them both a shout out in the chat. They're both wonderful streamers. Uh, Amethyst is a, a, another wonderful, talented Kaiser streamer. Uh, Mario, just Super Mario World ROM hack and Celeste streamer in the community. Go give her a follow. She is fantastic. And also, Cascade, who I got into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Also, Man, wonder, she... like, he's fun. Like, you should probably just go check out his stream. He's okay. Plus one um, bigger, so. Yeah. We're gonna be watching yeah, over this. I'm math, in the top which, right uh, corner. And uh, yeah, rules here let's go over this. The, uh, so this is a level by Fernet yeah, called Automatic day. Transmission. It's your day off. Um, my day off. It'll be shown here at the start <laughs> right, of this like as well. The but the, uh, also let me know if the audio is good. I think it's like it trying to make sure it's not too loud. I'm gonna also take this over a little bit. So the gimmick of this level is that when you jump on an enemy or you jump like on any sort of sprite and whatnot, you will automatically switch over uh to the other jump it's kind of like motor skills except done automatically and so i'm in the top right corner this is a this is a tough level this took me a little while to get used to i did not think i was doing that well in this level just because of like its rating and so you can you can see all of us here like having to adjust and get used to it because you have to spin jump off the saw then jump on the galoomba grab the galoomba when you spin jump off the saw again uh jump on the koopa to get another spin jump to be able to get up top Hit the hit the football, and then you have this really weird chain. You have to do a really awkward sort of regrab to go off of those bullet bills. That's the first part. Uh, we all take a bit of time to like get used to this and try to like go forward. Um, I'm probably gonna jump ahead a little bit. As should we just should we just watch this all like without jumping ahead? Like I'm I'm getting a little bit more information here too. Like we have a buzzy beetle. We need to also like throw. Uh, I spin jumped on it to start out because you can't just like immediately jump back on it again because you'll spin jump it. If you uh regular jump on it watch it all okay so it's uh it's not it's like 16 minutes long so like it's really not that long i had such a hard time with this bullet bill trick here we're all having like a little bit of difficulty that halcyon just like absolutely did it like great there i had such a hard time getting this correctly you need to not spin jump that buzzy beetle because you have to throw it and then jump off of it as well if you speed the head we miss the pog yeah all right we won't do that We'll watch it all. And if you have any questions as well about this, like, feel free to ask. Like, everybody's kind of figuring it out at their own pace. House gone through it a little bit late there, unfortunately, so the speed, the, the saw bounced back. Um, yeah, I had a really hard time getting used to this at first. It's really awkward, because you have to, like, when you've played as much Kaizo as I have, you kind of get, like, a, like, a muscle memory, essentially, for the, uh, the kind of things that you're doing in these levels. And it's really awkward. I'm in the top right. I was playing on my bot account, August Marcy. Um, yeah, it's very awkward to kind of get used to that, in a sense. Uh, just simply because I'm, we're, I'm so used 
to being able to just like balance on a saw and like keep it going that it's very unintuitive to then have to adjust yourself like this so eventually i'm having a really hard time with this you can tell at the very least everybody's also like kind of struggling with it you have to like not re-grab the jump button until you land on the third bullet bill if you re-grab right before the second bullet bill you go straight up into the, the munchers if you re-grab uh too late as well you won't get any height so very awkward Toss the shell there as I did. I actually did a spin jump instead of a regular jump, uh, which, you know, then killed me. But got the gist of what we were supposed to do there. Um, and also, sometimes Ramak races uh, blinks like that. I don't know what it is. A little bit of lag. We managed to get it there. This is another thing, too, where, like, you'll see me sometimes, like, default to, like, the muscle memory of, like, oh, this is how you usually do it. So, like, I went to start balancing on the saw to be able to, like, jump off of it uh yeah, and that doesn't work you also have to be careful with this first brain, Lumba to uh not accidentally destroy it when you're spin jumping off the saw <laughs> and so the goal I mean, with know, the buzzy I beetle know, shell is that you want to get the buzzy beetle shell uh by jumping off of the saw again and then you have a shell jump coming up too so you jump off of there grab it jump off of that koopa spin jump off the saw one more time as well uh so that you can then do a shell jump afterwards and in terms of like where i was at with this i had i i knew what to do at this point like i didn't know necessarily where the shell jump was going to be i think uh the next time i get there you'll see me throw it a little bit too early uh as well but i had a pretty pretty decent idea of like what the goal was going to be it looks like you know halcyon is getting pretty close to figuring it out to b2d like getting some knowledge here themselves the chat's covering it up a little bit so bounce off of that there grab it i think the yeah, I threw the shell a little bit too early here because I wasn't sure exactly what to do, but... Absolutely. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Flame. It was a bit of, pro it was a bit of a process to figure it all out. I had a really hard time with that bullet bill section, though. I just kept not getting it correctly. Um, looks like Halcyon actually has a good idea of, like, what they were supposed to do there, too, but didn't get a big jump, unfortunately. Let's see. Everybody's, like, slowly working this out, figuring out, like, the pace they have to go at. This attempt, okay, I think I get it. Yep, this is my first time getting that. I read this correctly. I trusted the level and figured out how to do that jump. Uh, I read this, but didn't realize that I wasn't supposed to kick the shell. I, like, let go of run too early. I don't know why it's uh, blinking like that. I think it's an issue with the restream. Apologies for that. Um... Yeah, I, I was able to get that very quickly. I was very happy with that. Uh, but honestly, I'm just, I'm way too hard on myself. I just figured that, like, everybody else has already done it at this point. Like, I'm just playing terribly. I, I need to get out of my head with that because I was, I was doing very well here. Um, this is just a very hard level. You can see me, like, continuing to miss that third bullet build there, too, as well. It's a very tight regrab. Um... I honestly think that the level, like, it was rated as, uh, the longest yeah, section was a 4 out of 10 stars. The hardest trick to figure out was 6 stars. But then the hardest trick to execute was also 4 stars. I think that should have been a 5. A 4, 6, 5 instead of 4, 6, 4. Just because this bullet bill trick was very tough to get consistently. Looks like you fail me actually reading it as well. I'm, I'm showing here, like, I'm blocking in the corner. I had to go this way. But you fail me getting some good information there too. So in a race yeah, like you can see me going up into the the, the ceiling there because I was regrabbing too early. Um, it really is anyone's game at this point. And Keske's right, Any, anybody's game, 100%. So players is trying. To I believe soon though, in the next minute or so, I'll be getting this checkpoint. Oh, they're switching to Nathan MG as well right now. Brain strats. Can bring in. Uh, I don't know where Nathan's stream is. Bottom left. Good. Ah, I'm back here. Okay. So I read this correctly. I was very happy with this. Uh, I do the shell jump here correctly as well. I figured out how to do that. Uh, we make this jump here. Unfortunately, I see the Goomba. I panic. I spin jump it. I kill it. We found the pipe, though. I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you fail me is great. You fail me is great. Nathan MG is great. BTD, Halcyon are all fantastic uh, players. All absolutely you know, capable of winning a ROM hack race. So I have the information now. The next time I make it there, I know exactly what I need to do. Her situation right there that does give the other racers a chance to try to make up some ground and get back uh, to try to get to that section as well and try to figure out how you proceed from this point. So, so on the screen, I am apparently the first person to actually get to that point and see what the ending is. I think you fail me is like gonna catch up in a moment here. A sentence that only makes sense if you have a lot of context if you <laughs> oh wait yeah that's right there's uh people are talking in chat i should actually i should probably have the chat next to here 
as well now that I think about it. Because they're, uh, oh shit, they're talking too. So I'll, I'll have them on screen <laughs> as well. Don't worry, I have the cop. Marcy, no, the poor best. Marcy. So I think this is my attempt before I make it. I spin jump that, I bounce off the shell. In the Mario community. I take this very carefully. I knew I had to jump on the Gloomba. I take it very slowly. Make sure I don't accidentally spin jump it. We make it into the pipe. We have a very clear lead right now. Realizing do better when I stop judging myself? Absolutely flame. So yeah, I'm the first person here at the checkpoint. Uh, I think I'm actually the first here for like a solid three minutes or something. Oh, did Mar I, oh, Marcy I'm here for a little while. Nice. Like, I'm shocked at how quickly I managed to like pick this up. I, I'm glad I've been practicing lately. <laughs> um, looks like they swapped me on audio-wise. A little bit of lag here. Go, Marcy. Some of y'all in chat be cheering be me on. Good night, kill you not. You have a good night. We'll see you later. Oh, wait, no. Ke oh, Kevin's going to bed. Good night, Kevin. I appreciate you, friend. See you later. The other ah. racers all working on the first section still. This, okay. Uh, this, this freaking Galoomba section here, chat. Let me tell you. Oh my god. It's so weird. You have to, like, go kind of farther to the right to make sure that the coop, like, the, uh, the spiny is spawned in. And then, like, hold jump the whole time. It was, like, super awkward. Also, Kezkade mentioned Juz not joining the race as well. When I got to the section with the, with the bubbles in my head, I was just like, yeah, this is, uh, this is Juz repellent. Nobody, Juz never, would never play this level. I had such a hard time figuring that out. It cheered you on as well? Oh, you're good, Flame. Don't worry about that. It was all good. I was like, it was pretty low-key. I didn't stream on this account, too, so now everybody knew. Yeah, this was, this is pretty tough. It's nice to see everybody cheering me on in chat, though. whatsoever. Fascinating. I think Jank Pickle here almost has the checkpoint. Like, I am still... Like, I think I'm finally figuring out that trick. I see that this is gonna be a slide. This is, like, the second week in a row that they had a slide. Last week as well, they had a slide at the end of the level so that I Marcy could not figure out. Uh, and I ended up getting like fourth uh, place as a result because I took like five minutes to figure out the slide. Know, like Revelog got, got like first place by like a solid minute as well because they uh, uh, they were able to figure out the slide too. Um, let's see. Yeah, still, it's been like, it's been about two and a half minutes since I got the checkpoint or two minutes now, I think. And I am still the only person on this checkpoint. I, I just was able to get so much information here. I, I figured out what I was supposed to do with the disco shell there. I was a little too fast uh, trying to figure it out, but managed to get it. Like, you may learn it. Uh, if you enter a slide, yeah, I think so. the butt state, the butt slide, whatever. It's interesting whatever, that you keep uh, your butt state despite the uh, motor skills here, but I, I managed to figure strong, that out pretty quickly. Uh, I see that we're going to be having to swap between the disco shell and the uh, potaboo here. Uh, Very odd, like, uh, you know, back and forth. I got pretty lucky landing that too. Uh, so really I panic at this point. I'm like, oh my god, this is a cape level. Here's the slide god. Thank you. I'm like, oh god, we're caping. B2D gets the checkpoint right there. I believe Jank Pickle here is now going to get the checkpoint as well. Yep, Jank Pickle absolutely reads the the checkpoint section as well. And I think Nathan here is also about to get the checkpoint too. No, they swap back and you fail me. You fail me. Just got the checkpoint as well. Everybody gets the checkpoint around the 10 minute mark. And all of a sudden we all have him on here. Yeah. Jank Pickle. And so the cape section here, you need to not be holding jump. You need to just run off the edge because we're going to be getting flight. And I like panic for a moment. Uh, the times too, uh, I have an extension that shows if like the same message is being put in chat just to like help like figure out what's spam and what's not spam if chat's moving fast. Um, that's mostly it. That's, that's the only reason it's there. Uh, I don't even know I have it installed at this point, honestly. I don't need it. So yeah, you need to get the cape. We're going to be doing a little bit of cape here. I'm holding the controller like differently than I would normally do for cape. I was on the top row here and I panic. I am not used to doing cape when it's like... <laughs> when I'm spin jumping and suddenly switching to regular cape, I was just like, ah, you're caping now. Oh, we're Corbin over here. I, it's, it's Corbin time, y'all. So the right, as you were saying, uh, with, with Marcy. With Marcy, uh, not with August. The, How dare you, Kez? I don't think any of the players have gotten the cape yet. Uh, the, in the spin state, in the cape, like landing on the cape would actually uh, put her into a fly state. So she could start flying straight from that situation. You're about to see it here. Oh, there's X8. There's that Mr. upper right corner. So let's check Get out you. what she Marcy, you tapping. So now I remember to switch my controller to like be on the other hand. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of cape in here. Oh. I get over here and I'm like, okay, what is happening That's over the, here? I see something like this. I land. I immediately yeah, yeah. realize, oh shit, yeah. this is a dive bomb. Oopsie. So I believe the intended <laughs> so, strat is you need to actually go of, past uh, that uh, like one way, advantage. all the one way walls, turn around and then dive bomb. Time. Kind yeah, of like how it is in Akogari 1. Uh, there's something very similar in there. Uh, why August Marcy? That's my bot's name. And I was streaming on there just because I didn't want to stream on my regular account for the rest of the day. 
Uh, I didn't want to have to worry about it. Fail me on the bottom. Um, so yeah, I uh, unfortunately know it's a dive bomb at this point. I just need to get back here. It's like tough to be consistent with some of this as well. It's a very tough level. Um, I think this attempt, the next attempt that I get there, I try to do the dive bomb and I fall into the hole. But at this point, I'm also just like super nervous. Like I absolutely, I have a rough time with nerves when I'm doing like races and whatnot. And so I usually just like, ah, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking, you know, stuff like that. Halcyon um, also has BH on this section. Uh, and let's know, see. We have a lot of really good. Anybody else getting close? People are on the disco shell all part. All at once, but confirmation of at least five racers on the. I think this half, part, so I try to go. I up. get the. I go for the dive bomb, but I end up like. Uh. So I think I end up going into the right hole. Corner, back in the Cape State. I go for the dive bomb. I um, bonk the there. So and so I have to fly back and forth to like try to save it. She's trying to make sure that she doesn't accidentally and I went, I go too far to the right here. If I had just gone on the right side, then turned around to dive bomb, that would have been much easier. I never thought of that. I was overcomplicating it the whole time. That's like sort of a downside to being as comfortable with Cape stuff as I am. But it happens, you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> and so I think coming up here, I actually get an attempt like ever. where I Never make it past there and we get it to the Never final obstacle. The final yeah. obstacle so just broke my brain. Like when my former is one of your was, former co really played? Uh, oh shit. I'm so over here. No, absolutely. It it's really anybody's race. I have like a pretty <laughs> massive knowledge like so, uh you know checkpoint here essentially but the, anybody uh, could absolutely show, take uh, it from this point we're very to close to the well. end so uh b2d also getting session. uh to the cape not quite yeah. getting it's flight unfortunately yeah chat. i'm going for another dive bomb i bonk again i uh i have to do this like really awkward sort of like saving it with the cape like the cape flick to keep my flight i'm just like i'm sweating at this point get the dive bomb go immediately the yoshi goes up i'm like worried i'm gonna run off the edge immediately go into the pipe look at this and i'm just like i don't get it i look at this and i'm just like there's something weird here and so my initial thought was oh maybe something spawns in when you jump off that koopa nothing spawns in and so at this point i'm just like i have no idea what i'm supposed to be doing but i just need to try something and so my original thought and we'll probably the next attempt will probably show this off my original thought was maybe we shouldn't jump off of the spiny because pretty quickly uh, i figured state, out that jumping that off the spiny is going to switch your uh sometimes. switch your state to the spin and, uh, state like i jumped off of it i, I ditched the yoshi i was in spin state was, i was able to put together that like okay the air, um, that means that i'm like you know i i need to if i'm jumping off of it i'm gonna lose my i'm gonna lose my regular jump state so i'm like what if we just skip it maybe that's the way to do it i bonk here and i'm like i don't know what to do I don't know so what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like, this the, This is the end. I need to get this. We're so close. I, 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 people might have already finished by this point, but I don't know. I, I'm just like, I, I just, I need to clutch this out. I need to get it this time. Um, oh, you'll see, Revelug. And so people are like, uh, you fail me right here. Getting to this point too. They could have taken this right here. They could have taken this. They're checking in the pipe. They're seeing what it is. If they have read this, Sure I would have taken second place. Right jump. <laughs> oh, my stream, my stream buffers. An intuitive, uh, ending because of, of how and I see it right here. Things. I'm like, jump Checking off of it twice. Smart oh, Marcy I land the jump. Oh, Marcy. I make it. Marcy. I won. 1558. Uh, you fail me could have taken it. I don't know if you fail good. me gets it this time. I believe you fail me takes a few more minutes. They're checking it over and over again. And you'll see me in chat here. Just like this Having level is tough. Everybody's saying GG in that. I'm thanking them. Honestly, I didn't think I won. I like almost Gotta work. No problem, Drew. You have a lovely night. Take care of yourself. We'll see you later. Congratulations. So I'm like, big GG. I ha did not know I won yeah, until I saw this message. For, uh, a ton of people in the second right sec. Now. Uh, the second second now. I was like, wait, was I first? See you, Drew. You have a lovely night. On the cape section as well as Jank Pickle. And I just. Now Jank Pickle losing their cape, unfortunately. I just burst out crying. Uh, but I was going to say I was very happy. Can re-enter this retry or not retry pipe, but the um the the pipe that lets you see. It was a pretty big. Be, it was a pretty monumental point. point. Remember when you said you wanted to win an RHR? Really well, guess what? Move by the racers. Um, I'm very happy. Case, like they get one chance to look at it. Maybe they need another chance. Uh, using that as many times as they. I've need. wanted to win a race Maybe for a very long time. I've known I was able to do so. One shot that they need. So very good use. It feels happy to finally achieve this.
I'm glad I did this. Hell yeah, Toka so Kiss. We'll see who is going to get the the second place as Marcy has uh, been the first one. And the race goes now. on. It is but another very close two minutes or so until somebody honestly, else finishes this. I finished um, like a full level. like three so minutes ahead of everybody nasty. else somehow. Yeah. Or back for seconds. Oh, I'm I might race some like uh, I might race this weekend because it's Maddie's level. Yeah. But I've won. I've won a race. I've done that. I can't not yeah. do that anymore. It's, I've uh, I've accomplished that goal of mine. A bit more of a big brain, and once again, that's why we're on commentary and not racing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very glad I finally achieved this. This was pretty monumental so, for me. Uh, people, it, it appears as if everyone currently on uh, the stream yeah. right now are. It goes on for a little bit longer. Same spot, I'm just like reviewing the footage and like and just crying. And like, yeah, I'm gonna jump ahead here. Jump. We get Jank Pixel, or not Jank Pixel, you fail me here, catching up. up. Looks like they finally figured out how to do this. They do the double jump on there. Get the jump there and win. I'm blocking it, but yeah, right there. I'm very proud of myself. This was like, not only was this like, my first win and a stellar win in itself and like great reads overall, but just like, my gosh, I really popped off. And I'm very happy. Uh, Barry eating the blocks. Uh, it's just it's just eating the blocks when a when a shell goes up and down like that. It's just eating the uh, or a pipe goes up and down like that. It's eating the blocks, making them despawn. But yeah, that was that. That was my first ever ROM hack races win. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, I might be doing more races in the future too. But I told myself once I got a win, I'd go back to playtesting as well. And so we'll see. But uh, that's that's it for the uh, the, the the commentary there. We're gonna go back to our usual you know Kaizo gameplay here in just a moment. But thank you for sitting here and listening to me commentate this race i appreciate you all how many races have i done we should actually check that i'm gonna end the recording now though we're gonna this is gonna go up on my youtube as well but thank you all very much for watching i love you all i hope you're having a great night Mwah.